Hello everyone, my name is Amos Nimos and I am known as the nano nano guy on the internet. The guy who used nano, you know, I use nano for everything because I do love nano. Nano is a great text editor. But recently I thought to myself like how would I use Vim and most of all I, I thought about like my text editor and basically how I would like I how I would want my text editor to basically look like and I, I thought about most importantly the issues I had with Vim what I don't like about Vim and how I could fix these issue and um, I think I came up with the answer this is like zero Vim there you go that is zero Vim we just entered zero Vim and I want to type something I do I and I start typing stuff and I press escape and now I'm in the uh, normal mode of Vim so if I press zero I should move at the start of the line if I press X it should delete the character um, door assign to the end of the line X delete the character I doesn't delete the character after the cursor um, uh, I don't even know what it's doing at this point um, D D D D D it's a D S the space the Y anyway uh, you get the point and I can move around um, I can't move from like left to right because um, this buffer is kind of like these lines are almost empty uh, they have like one character each I think which is a space I think I'm not sure I did this I did this config but I'm not a genius I don't know everything um, and I can quit just like that I'm gonna show you the uh, .vmrc that I just made for that um, so it's a very minimal vmrc um, maybe I'm gonna make it smaller so that you can see more of it because it's like a, a long uh, VMRC uh, horizontally so that's what it does yeah so like you can already ignore these lines which uh, we don't use in the config um, so the config is like a little bit simpler than it looks like that's pretty much all we need and some of these lines might also be useless because I did a lot of trying testing and that's the final version I came up with to try to hide as much of the user interface as possible and I know it's a CLI tool but it, Vim still has a lot of user interface by default this this is beauty this is beautiful you don't have no user interface you don't have the tilt sign on the on the side of the screen and people um, I'm not alone. A lot of people online asked, like, how do I remove the tilt sign? It's annoying. It's not pretty. And, like, there's this gutter also when you start using Vim that's uh, right after the line number. And is this a very uh, useful ver way of using Vim for writing code? Not at all. Not at all. But um, it's a cool, minimal way. Like, if you just need to type some text. But, well, first of all, you should probably not use uh, Vim for that but yeah overall that's um, a minimal version of Vim and, and I did it um, minimal Vim and I quit um, yeah just like that if I want to add a line insert like I didn't have to press O to add a line because like I said I can just move up and down in this version um, and yeah, if I move down enough, I'll reach like an end of line, and like a line that doesn't exist. And I can just press O and it's fixed. Uh, there's no longer an, an, a line that isn't visible in the buffer unless I do like O, 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 uh, not O, but like quit and O, quit and O, quit and O. Um, because I forgot the comment to just add the line without like going in insert mode um, but yeah basically you can add as many lines as you want and I can do insert this is a line and uh, quit escape mode uh, normal mode I mean go up 
yeah, it's nice. It's, it's very nice. And if you want to see the line number, you can just do set number. Um, there you go. And now you have the line number, which is nice. It's very cool. Uh, and I prefer having it turn off by default and being able to turn it on when I need it, when I want it. And when I no longer want, want it, I can do set no number, I think. There you go. And I hide it back. And um, why do I still see the comment? I, I no longer need it, but who cares? It's not like I can just do that and probably escape. There you go. It's no longer there. So minimal version of him. That that's nice. That's nice. I think people online will like this. Honestly, that's that's very cool. And a lot of people were asking me. Even, well, were asking online how to remove the line on the side. Well, you can't. And that's dumb, uh, but that's a nice solution. The line at the bottom right here, what it does, it adds empty line equal to the height of the terminal, like how many columns you have in your terminal, and it it use O for that, and then it use GG to move you back up, and that's it. That's all it does, and. Have I tried it like with a file that already has stuff in it? No, because I don't want it to not work. Old VMRC. Um, yeah, it did exactly what I thought it would do, which is to add the empty line, even if there's already content in the file. So, and if would be nice to check if there's content in the file first, and if there isn't then you you do your stuff if there's more than one line in the buffer you don't do anything that's that would be a nice if to add but for now it works that's it for this video folks uh, bye bye